students soil erosion as discussed refers to the removal of top soil by natural agents what are these natural agents rivers glaciers winds sea waves etc they remove the top layer of fertile soil and deplete the fertility of soil it is a very very important problem in india what could be the causes the main causes are deforestation when there are forests there are trees the roots of the trees hold the soil so even when rain wind glaciers come the roots give a strong support but because we are cutting forests the problem of deforestation is leading to another problem of soil erosion over grazing when a lot of cattle is left to overgraze there are no roots left all the grasses are evicted shifting cultivation what is the meaning of shifting cultivation so they will take this piece of land grow crops and then they will burn this area and move to the next part to do agriculture this is a very very bad way to do agriculture and it harms the soil tremendously faulty methods of cultivation that are not scientific in nature use of top soil for making bricks tiles when they dig more and more soil to make bricks tiles etc all of this leads to soil erosion all of you can write to me what all you think is the most scientific way to use soil in cultivation so what happens because of soil erosion what are the effects the important effects of soil erosion are first the fertility of soil is lost and there is tremendous fall in the agricultural productivity like let's say if in fertile soil if in one acre of land i can grow 20 kgs of rice in in fertile land i can grow only 2 kgs so it is very important to ensure that the soil is fertile it leads to silting and floods so a lot of silt gets collected silt is sand in one particular area and floods take place change of the course of rivers so if a river is going in a particular direction it will end up going in another direction and reduction in the capacity of reservoirs now if so much of soil is taken and flooded and put in a reservoir or a region that holds water because it's carrying so much of mud there will be a lot of mud in the tank and there will be such less place available for water ground water level is lowered now when soil erosion happens a lot of soil is carried away by wind water and other reasons so what we do what do we do to increase soil fertility and irrigation we keep digging wells so a lot of ground water is used up and when there is no soil nothing is there to hold water and percolate or the roots are not there to take water and push it in the ground water so erosion leads to depletion in the ground water resources as well vegetation cover dries because there is no fertile soil drought increases and the whole economy suffers so what is this idea of conservation of soil conservation of soil means steps that can be taken so that soil has been not let to erode or there is no loss in the fertility of soil or protection of soil from erosion and preservation of the fertility of soil is called soil conservation it's a very important question from exam point of view what is soil conservation what are the steps of soil conservation so the various measures are what is the opposite of deforestation reforestation afforestation grow forests again in places where the forest has been cut when we go and plant trees there it is called reforestation if you take a new area completely where there was no forest but now you want to grow a forest there that is called afforestation controlled overgrazing so if overgrazing is a problem control it stop it third counter farming grow counters 
so if rain comes or a wind comes it may take one layer but there are steps so successive layers are prevented from erosion construction of check dams so if there is a dam that is built here even if it's eroding it will be blocked by this dam here counter bunding counter bunding is another kind of counter farming technique gully control and bench terracing gully is a huge amount of water running with sand so if that is if you put a bund and prevent the gully from flowing that is called gully control so there's an urgent need to conserve soil under the five year plans and much importance is given for this aspect so a healthy soil leads to a healthy economy let's do the back side question students the soils that are formed from the sediments deposited by the rivers are called of course i know you all got it right it begins with the alphabet a alluvial soils very good question 2 the black soils are also known as starts with r regur and black cotton soil why is it called black cotton soil because it is the most suitable for cotton cultivation question 3 under the conditions of high temperature and rainfall dash soils are formed i even explained to your tropical region of india when i was discussing the soil it starts with the alphabet l laterite soils question 4 mountain soils are suitable for dash crops what do we see on hills we always tell them bring tea coffee yes these are plantation crops now let's do the answer the following in detail which are the major types of soils in india there are six how many of you can tell them without saying come on close your eyes try and tell me they are laterite black red mountain soil desert soil and alluvial soils explain the distribution when i'm talking about distribution i'm going to talk about in which parts or which states of india we see black soil they are found in deccan basalt trap region including maharashtra Madhya Pradesh parts of Telangana northern part of Karnataka parts of Gujarat and Tamil Nadu they occupy about 5.46 square 5.46 lakh square kilometers in India what are the characteristics of red soil they are sandier and less clayey so they do not retain moisture they are ideal for cultivation of ragi millets groundnuts tobacco and potato a variety of crops grown in these soils if there are irrigation facilities available next question what is soil erosion and what is the opposite of soil erosion they have also asked that also what is soil erosion and what is soil conservation protection of soil from erosion and preservation of fertility of soil is called soil conservation and soil erosion refers to the removal of top soil by natural agents like rivers glaciers winds sea waves etc mention the main causes of soil erosion overgrazing deforestation shifting cultivation faulty methods of cultivation use of top soil for making bricks tiles etc what are the major effects of soil erosion one loss of fertility and fall in agricultural productivity two leads to silting and floods change of course of rivers reduction of capacity of reservoirs next third point ground water level is lowered and there is decrease in soil moisture fourth point vegetation cover dries up and drought increases and lastly economy as a whole suffers so this brings us to the end of the chapter indian soils i know a lot of you would be interested in agriculture so if you all see practices that harm the fertility of soil wherever you are take steps for soil conservation at least you all can plant a tree one tree we all can plant and make our earth a better and greener place okay students do practice a lot of question answers practice writing and learn the keywords perfectly see you all until then goodbye